There are thousands of gallons of wine thrown away each and every year because people don't know what to or how to reseal their open bottles of wine. That's a crime. Now, in this particular video, we're going to take the guesswork out of how to reseal your open bottles of wine. It's not rocket science. This one is sweet and simple. Come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. We're going to, to look at six different ways of how to reseal your open bottle of wine and actually how not to reseal them. A wine needs to be resealed right after opening it because it, it will begin to oxidize once coming in contact with oxygen. The air opens up the tannins in the wine and deteriorates the flavor. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, wine begins to turn once exposed to air. However, you can slow the process down by minimizing the amount of oxygen that the wine comes in contact with. Now, unless you're willing to spend a couple hundred or actually a couple thousand dollars, no matter what you do, any method of resealing your wine will not actually preserve it. For that, you'd need a wine dispenser. You know, you might want to take a look at one of my other videos. Uh, that one goes hand in hand with this video. The name of it is, How Long Can You Keep an Open Bottle of Wine? Now keep in mind, at any time if you like what you hear, click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so that you'll be notified when there's a new post. Now here are the bottle closures that do little to no good in keeping wine any length of time. Now the worst is a paper towel. It's porous, it breathes. You can stuff it in there if you want to. Now there's another, it's wax paper with a rubber band. Now you also have decorative bottle closures. You know, they actually were, look a whole lot better than they work. Now they're made out of cork and metal. Uh, some of the metal is pewter and brass and, and uh, then there's also rubber and synthetic, all, all different kinds of materials. They do an adequate job for several hours, but uh, don't plan on, on them being effective for maybe even a day. Now the fourth and most popular and pervasive way of resealing the bottle, you know, bottle of wine, is to, to re-cork it with the original cork. Now there are four simple steps to, to re-cork your, your bottle of wine. The first thing you want to do is determine which end of the cork you want to put into the bottle. Seems sort of simple, but, but uh, it, makes, it actually makes life a whole lot easier. You want to put the end of the cork that was originally inside the bottle to the outside. It's relatively easy to tell which end is which, especially with red wine, because you want the end that's stained red, whoops, the stained red facing out of the bottle. Here are the four simple steps to re-cork your bottle of wine. Actually, with the original cork. Step one is to place the bottle on a sturdy surface. Step two is to angle the cork so that the unstained end is going into the bottle and it's going to be on the edge of the bottle. One edge of the cork is uh, positioned in the bottle and the other edge is resting on the, the lip of the bottle. Step three is you want to begin to seat the cork. What you want to do is simultaneously twist and press down on the cork. Step four is to push the cork into the bottle between a third and halfway in. Now, if you want to push it all the way in, I would use like a, a countertop and push it all the side of a counter to push it all the way in. That, you know, that's as far as it needs to go, but you can actually push it all the way in if, if you want to. Pushing it all the way in gives it just a little bit better seal. By the way, how are you doing here? Is this information making sense? If it is, write Asti in the comments below. Now, here's the fifth, and in my opinion, the best and most effective way to reseal your, your bottle. 
uh, which is with a, a vacuum pump. There are both, both manual and electric vacuum pumps. Here I'm showing one that uh, one of the many types of manual vacuum pumps. Most of them come with several stoppers and they're reusable um, uh, stoppers that you can use over and over again. Stoppers are really unique because they allow the air to, to be vacuumed out of the bottle without any air going back into the bottle. They minimize or eliminate air in, in the bottle which uh, slows the oxidation process or the aging process down. Accordingly, you'll add several days of life to, to the wine over uh, all the other kind of closures that we looked at. With my pump and its closures, you'll feel when uh, you've pumped out enough air. Again, these stoppers are reusable and designed to be used and reused year after year. You can get the vacuum pump from my online shop and it's really simple and easy to use. There. Now my sixth closure is the specialized uh, bottle closure, also known as the, the winged bottle closure. Uh, it's made for sparkling wines. This closure is really the only way to go when it comes to sparkling wines. Now you don't want to use a regular cork or a vacuum uh, pump with sparkling wines. They just won't work. The wing closure is especially made for sparkling wines and champagne bottles. They'll add one to two days of life uh, to your, your sparkling wines. Let me show you how this works. See the wings? Open it up, place it over the bottle, press down lightly and fold the wings down. They'll catch on the sides. To release or reopen the bottle, slightly press down and lift the wings. That's it. Remember, this device is of little importance if you wait three to five hours to put it on your champagne bottle. It'll be flat by then. Also, when you, you do reopen it, plan to drink your, your sparkling wine shortly after you've opened it. Oh yeah, and, and don't plan to, to reseal your bottle after it's been resealed once. <laughs> well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about resealing your bottle of wine. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.